What's up guys, this is your boy Rusian with another Raid Shadow Legends video and I need to apologize, I'm a little under the weather uh, with some allergies so uh, doing a little bit different this video uh, but we gonna react to so this YouTuber, Skylar Napier new YouTuber, 85 subscribers uh, he just received the supreme club invite so i gonna take a look and i'm gonna react to his video so that also allows people to know what the wells and krakens gonna be getting if they are invited to this club all right so let's take a look oh this is what they give you for your birthday okay i thought this was the um the actual gift for joining the supreme club i still haven't got the gift for joining the supreme club discord that they said that we would be getting but this is what they give you for your birthday one primal shard one mythical skill tome eternal soul stone and one xp barrel that's uh that's pretty hefty considering you know like say 40 bucks for those five for that 25 for that so we had 70 and say probably 10 for that so that's about an 80 dollar bundle there that's that's uh not nothing to sneeze at all right so as he explains uh you get all those gifts not too bad really it is about 80 80 dollars uh worth of gifts but again that's on your birthday right like he said he did uh he make he covers later I'm gonna take a look uh what is your gift when you join the club uh join the discord server and everything so let's keep watching That's, that's really cool, actually. Also, we have this event right here. The time has come for the first epic battle of skill and strategy in our exclusive Supreme Club Discord Challenge as Guardian Trial. Show off your mastery, conquer the battlefield, and compete for rare in-game avatar and exclusive raid merch. Assemble your ultimate squad, four unique champions, one as Guardian, take on stage 30 of the event dungeon, facing off against Odin himself. Defeat him as quickly as possible, share your best screenshot, a victory showcasing your fastest time. But if you thought it would be easy, brace yourself, there's a twist. You must meet the following conditions. One as Guardian, four different affinities, two epic champions, one rare champion, one seven-day login champion, and if you select Loki as your login champion, he will not count as the Asgardian. No mythical champions allowed. Rough. Prizes for the top three. Odin in-game avatar and a raid merch box. In the event of a die, the following top rate conditions will be applied. Teams featured only one void champion will be given higher weight. Teams with three epic champions will be prioritized next. If players are still tied after applying these conditions, a raffle will be conducted amongst the players with the same battle time to determine the winners. Be sure to build your team wisely. Every detail counts. Start date, October 9th, 11 UTC, as soon as the in-game tournament is live in the game. And then the end game or end date is October 13th at midnight. So to be honest, uh, pretty cool. It's something they do as a group on the Discord server. You take a screenshot, uh, show that you actually bit in a certain amount of time, whatever. Now this I don't feel is such an issue for in the most like free to play, uh, even like some low spenders because it's very hard to meet uh, all of those requirements. So I wouldn't expect many people to actually be part to participate on that. Uh, the other thing too, it, it, I feel this is not such a big deal. It's not a big thing for them to have those things because uh, there are cool prizes, but I feel they're negligible in a sense when you look at, you know, like it doesn't really affect the game. It doesn't give them an edge. It's more about bragging rights than anything else. Oh, okay. So we have a direct response to the Hydra changes. Hydra seems to become a harder boss for everybody due to the devouring mechanic and the 100% damage decrease of Serpent's Will. These changes are intended first and foremost to cap the performance of teams that endure very long battles by using specific Hydra vulnerabilities, especially by decapitating new heads as soon as they grow back. Also, we intended the battles to finish with all the champions either dead or devoured instead of reaching the turn limit, thus avoiding champion devouring becomes increasingly more difficult. By the way, the limited HP bar for an exposed net creates a good opportunity for champions whose damage scales are based on enemies' max HP. My modest Hydra teams might be severely affected. Will I be able to achieve even minimal Hydra rewards? The changes are specifically designed to cap immense amounts of damage certain teams dealt by far surpassing 100 turns, roughly speaking. It is the competitive aspect of Hydra Clash that we aspire to make fairer and with these rebalances. If your team manages to deal enough damage for a certain chest, so we expect it to continue doing so with minimal adjustments. Why not just nerfing one single specific champion instead? Well, we consider the issue of overpowered Hydra teams to be a complex one. By changing the boss's mechanics, we want to prevent overpowered teams from appearing in the future. We aim for a better balance in this game mode in the long term. Will Trunda become useless? We want Trunda to remain a good and useful champion, but at the same time, we want to bring her damage output against Hydra in line with that of other champions. Why change shields? Because infinite shields bring a balance to the gameplay to agree that some cap is necessary. Still, we decided on a cap that would allow Will Shine when fighting Demon Lord. However, we will be closely monitoring in case of a shield cap or any other change in need of adjustments. Why change the way taunt? Yeah, I'm, I'm curious on this one. As brief All right, so my point in here is really, uh, even the rewards they seem to get to like join the club, 
uh, they're also negligible. Uh, it's nothing really that big. I mean, a thousand energy, one million silver. Honestly, uh, it seems that it was hiked up so much, uh, this club, to where it seems like they would be getting a lot more stuff. But I really don't think Plarion cares about that because end of the day, if they're if there are such high spenders, uh, it really doesn't matter. If they give 10 silver or 10 million silver for most of those guys, it really doesn't make a scratch in their accounts. So it is showing appreciation. I get that. Uh, also, the information they seem to have at least to this point uh, on their Discord, it doesn't really seem to be uh, that much different than what we get in the regular Discord. So. Up to that, sure, direct line with the devs and stuff, a little different, but up to this, it doesn't really seem to make such a difference. I think it end up being more of a bragging rights situation where they can say, hey, I'm part of this club, I'm more important than you. What, in my opinion, it may eventually cause some uh, issues with uh, in between people you know, between players, because I feel some people are gonna feel more entitled to things and start some arguments in the game, but we'll have to see. Briefly mentioned above, we intended Hydra to finish off with all champions dead or devoured, and okay, well, okay, duh, that makes sense. That is why for considerations of consistency, we're gonna change the interaction between Tom and Mark and Hydra to ensure there are no specific strategies that provide a large advantage over the others to fade away. Now, I do have to say, Two of the last four fusions were taunt champions, and they even said, we're going to put in a legendary hound in the future if you do this champion, and, like, this totally eliminates the, the use case of those champions. Like, Scorid, for example. Or, sorry, not Scorid, uh, Shyak. Like, he's literally useless, and now when you release that legendary dog, nobody's going to want him, unless he's just fucking god tier. Last but not least, we want to say thank you to all of you, and we appreciate your concerns and participation. Okay. I want that Odin in-game avatar. That would be cool. I don't know what it looks like. Oh, this is the merch! Socks! Is that Gaelic and Kale? A unicorn with a Talarian logo, that's kind of odd. The Rage shirt? Uh, I don't know what that thing in the background is. It says Talarian. Maybe like a laptop sticker? I'm not sure. That's cool. All right, guys. So he shows all that nice merch. And to be honest, so that's a gift, I guess. Uh, whoever's on the club going to be getting. Honestly, with you guys, that's like a t-shirt. You can probably, I mean, not a Raid t-shirt, but you can buy something like that for 20 25 bucks uh plush toy um socks you know the best gift everybody wants to get that for christmas and something that may be like a mouse pad or i don't know a laptop cover something like that uh i would say like 50 bucks plus the 100 nah plus the 80 bucks uh for joining their discord but i guess it's up to like 130 bucks when those guys are spent like thousands a month maybe even like you know the million dollar account so i guess that's cool i want that i would buy that okay feedback oh wow all right well all right, so uh, pretty much that's what uh, he wraps the video with. Uh, he just keeps going uh, through some battles and stuff. So as of what we can see as of right now, really, yeah, besides a couple of gifts, maybe a store where you can buy some merch. <laughs> I mean, they buy anything anyway. So um, besides for that, it doesn't seem to be that much. Uh, the only thing that I really feel is having a direct line with the dev, the devs, uh, we really need to wait and see how much that gonna be affecting uh, the other players, right? Will they have an actual input to where it's gonna affect other players or it just so they feel good and feel important about being in the club, all right? So in the end of the day, uh, that's about it. it I would expect that to be something much bigger. Um, I'm not really sure if things gonna change, if things gonna evolve for that club. But yeah, I'm all right. All right, guys, I just want to give you guys an update. I appreciate you guys being uh, watching the video. And as always, 
I'll see you in the game.